It was a 10-minute traffic stop that's sure to leave a lasting impact. A Hillsborough County motorcycle deputy pivoted from education to empathy when he encountered a distraught bicyclist. Well, their exchange earlier this month, as you saw there, was recorded on video. And Fox 13's Catherine Hawley takes us beyond the body camera footage. How are you today? A proactive patrol on Dale Mabry Highway focused on motorcycle safety. You okay? It's just a traffic stop, my man. Shows a different meaning to the oath, serve and protect. As soon as I got out of my vehicle and I started walking up to the gentleman, I could hear him very emotional. He was, I mean, he was already very emotional. It's a side of the job Master Deputy Donald Reiser says happens more than you would think. So my friend got in front of me. That's all. Okay, we'll take your helmet off for a second. Was he on a bike? Where at? Saint Pete. Saint Pete. Boys Here, take your helmet off so you can breathe, man. In his nearly 16 years on the force, Riser tells us his focus is always on having empathy for everyone he encounters and really trying to help. It's not just about stopping people, giving people tickets. I mean, you have to be a social worker in this job, too. You have to wear many, many different hats and be able to take one off and put the other one on really quickly. And clearly, he shouldn't be riding a motorcycle in that state. I'm glad I stopped you if you're emotional like that. When you get a chance to talk to people, you know, that can help you. It really can, because I, I don't want to see anybody die on a motorcycle. No, you're the first person I have to talk to. You. Oh, that's cool, man. Lending an ear and giving support, because that's what the man needed. So I just took a few minutes to talk to him and noticed that he still really wasn't doing very well, so I did something I really never do. That's a warning for the exhaust. This is the checklist I told you about. Just read it, familiarize yourself. Well, that's my personal cell phone number if you ever need to talk. The man hasn't called yet, but Riser says he's ready to listen if the phone ever rings. Catherine Hawley, Fox 13 News.